Greetings YouTubers, Atari Leaf here with a homebrew hardware review. Uh, what you see before you is a small sample of controllers for the Tandy Color computer. You've got your standard black joystick, analog, non-centering. Great for games like Double Back or Clowns and Balloons. We've got our deluxe joystick, which is seems to be the most popular one in the Coco community. Pistol grip. I really like this one myself. Uh, very solid joystick. And then this uh, oddity, uh, the Commander Deluxe, which is an interesting stick. Supports lefties and righties, which is kind of interesting. Uh, so those are some of the sticks for the Tandy Color computer. And even though they're all decent and can be used just fine, they aren't a perfect solution. Now, back in the day, Wyco made an adapter, an official adapter, to use, say, an Atari-style joystick on the Tandy Color computer. But they only had one button support. What if you wanted to play a game like Rampage that needs two buttons? Well, you're out of luck. Uh, until recently, and a couple of fellows named Neil Blanchard and John Linville came up with this great little device. It is the Sega Joypad adapter for the Coco 3. And it is exactly what it says it is. These wires uh, you plug into your uh, Tandy Color Computer 3 and the serial port, which I'll get into a little bit, not necessary. Uh, and then you plug in your standard 9-pin Atari or Sega joysticks into there to use a Genesis controller, a Wyco controller on the Tandy Color computer. So it's a great little homebrew device. Uh, does it do what it advertises? Well, let's take a look and find out right now. Okay, so we have a Color Computer 3 set up here. Uh, I've got it turned on. Hopefully you can see that okay. I know this is not the best setup. So here's the joypad adapter. There's three cords. I hope you can see that. Two of them are for the joystick and one is for the serial port. The six pin are the joystick. Four pin is the serial port. Now, according to the manual, that third port... Um, yeah, yeah, okay. As an added bonus, this is from the manual itself, as an added bonus, this adapter gives additional support for the extra buttons C and start through the serial port connection. This feature has been included to allow for future development in new software or old software patched to take advantage of this. So, future proofing. I like that. That's really good. For the purposes of our demonstration, I'm just going to plug in the left joystick just to test it out. So, with that in mind, we have two games we're going to try. One's a two-button game. Rampage. Really good game. And for the one button game, we're going to use Stellar Lifeline. Now this will work on both a Coco 3 and Coco 1 and Coco 2. Uh, but I believe the Coco 1 and 2 only supports one button games. But to tell you the truth, I don't know if there are any two button Coco 2 games. Maybe there are. And I'm just not remembering them. So we're going to try both of these. For the two button game, we're going to try the Sega Genesis Pad. For the one button, my favorite joystick the Wyco. So let's hook this puppy up and see what we get. Okay, so we have the Sega Joypad adapter plugged in here. We've got Rampage in the machine. Now I only have the uh, left joystick port plugged in, which I think is going to mean I'm going to be playing George the Ape by default. So that's what we'll do now. I know this is not the best setup, but hopefully you'll be able to see... Um, the game, at least you can see me using it, you'll know it, that it works. No, I don't have RGB. Forget the, we'll dispense with the options, we'll just play with, uh, hit the jump button, and we'll go right into the game. Yep, it is George. George the Gorilla. Okay, moving left and right, we can jump, we can punch, we can climb the buildings, we can eat humans, lots and lots of fun. Great game, by the way. Pretty good port on the color computer. I've done a, um, a review on this I did years ago. And yeah, it seems to be working really, really well. Sega Joypad adapter on a Tandy color computer. Fantastic, right? What can I say? And there goes one building. Again, I, I apologize for the visuals here. I don't have the best setup to show you, like a an LED monitor. This is just an old Commodore 1702, which is fine for playing. It's actually great for playing, but to film a screen of it, nah, not so good. So Rampage with a Sega Genesis, two buttons, works great. Fantastic game. Okay, 
Uh, now let's take a look at uh, a one button game using an Atari joystick. Let's do that. Okay, so I've replaced the Sega Genesis controller with one of my favorite joysticks of all time. This is the Wyco, uh, I think it's called the Boss. Command control. Anyway, really love this stick. It's very sturdy, arcade quality parts in it. And I've put uh, another game in here called Stellar Lifeline, which I've played before, I've done a review before, and I will tell you that I used one of those regular black joysticks and when I was doing my review I had a hard time playing Stellar Lifeline because it is a very twitch game. Uh, there's some inertia in your ship so making turns and shooting and 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 just just having that finite control that you need was very hard with that. I played it with this when I first got it and it makes a huge difference. So let's take a look at uh, Stellar Lifeline. Uh, I don't know if I have to change any options here or not. I think I might. I have to change. Okay, because this is defaulting to right, so I have to change the controller to left. And break to exit. Now we can go. And the object of this game is to, uh, to defend these little uh, space pods, these fuel pods. And there's meteors and uh, asteroids that come after you, and in later levels there's spaceships. But yeah, I'm definitely getting a lot better control using one of these. It, it is night and day. That doesn't mean I'm great at the game, but I can definitely control this a lot better. And it is a very fun game, too. Yeah, I was getting... When I played this with the other joystick, I was getting killed on a regular basis. And here, I've got a lot more control, which makes this game a lot more fun, a lot more playable. So, to sum it up, the Sega Joypad Adapter is... Wow. If you're a Coco owner and you like to play games... To me, this is a must-purchase. You've got to get one of these. So great thanks to Neil Blanchard and John Linville for creating a great product for the Tandy Color Computer. This thing rocks, and it rocks hard. I mean, look, I'm getting, I'm getting here, I'm getting through this level without getting any ships destroyed, I think, pretty much. Oh, no, I did get one destroyed. <laughs> I guess I wasn't paying attention. I was having so much fun blowing up the rocks, I didn't notice there was rocks behind me. That's okay, though. I'll know when I actually sit down to play the game later. But yeah, Sega Joypad Adapter, boys and girls. If you want a Coco, you got to get one of these. This is Atari Leaf. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Ooh, look up for the rocks.